Sonny Donnelly, IFL TV, in association with MGM Marbella. I'm here at Trinity House today in Tower Hill for the George Groves versus Andres De Luisa press conference. Announced yesterday, yep. George Groves' new trainer, Shane McGuigan. Yep. Uh, Shane, another great signing for the McGuigan team. You've become yep. a really strong camp now. What do you like about George? I uh, just like the way he... Um yeah, I've always been a massive fan of George. I think he's got a phenomenal ability, and um, you know I would I would love to be helping him win that world title. That like he's come up fallen fallen short three times, but you know he's up against it against uh, Carl Foch, a very good champion. Um, and then I thought he could, you know fight and get a Jack could have gone either way. So uh, he's been very unfortunate, but he's got world class ability, and you know a couple of fights getting back on track, getting back to what, doing what he's good at. Getting his range, you know, hitting, hitting sharp, crisp shots, not not loading up and, and holding his feet. And I think, um, you know, in due time, he's, he's going to be a huge force in the super super middleweight division. Obviously, former opponents like James DeGal, who yeah. George beat, has now got a world title. Yeah. Is that a title you looking at to try and get a fight with? I think any fight in the super middleweight division um, for George, I think he's got he's definitely got a good chance of beating them all. You know, I think he's got. Gale's number one, what, you know, people will say di you know, they'll differ um, now since, you know, a couple of his defeats, but, you know, the fact is that George beat him before he went to the Olympics and he beat him before he won a world title, um, so that just sets it up, it's a massive fight, so I think yeah, De Gale is really, he's an incredible fighter in bursts, it's just, he goes to sleep quite a lot and um, they've sparred endless amount, amounts of rounds and it's just a uh, be an exciting fight, and I believe he beats him. I also think there's another huge fight out with Callum Smith, who's um, you know knocking on the door of a world title, and rightfully so. He's progressing incredibly um, over the last few years as well. So um, yeah, there's massive fights. Abraham, same thing. I think I think you know he got buzzed by Martin Murray, who's not not a massive puncher at super middleweight. I feel if you know if George had hit him with that shot, it, it might be a different story. So. Um, but you know, everyone's going to see see how he how he comes back, how he handles the pressure again, and which makes it exciting. Obviously, domestically, there's a lot of fights that could happen. A few people have been speaking about the Martin Murray fight, just to get them both back on the ball. Do you think that could happen as well? I think so, but I think you know, the fact is that Murray's had uh, is it four attempts now at world yeah, four, uh, yeah, I think. world level. You know, he's four short. I think. You know, I believe. George, um, he's a fully fledged super middleweight. You know, Murray's a, although he's a big guy, he, you know, his best days I think are, were at um, middleweight. So, but I'm a big fan of Martin Murray. I think I'd love to see him win a while. So, you know, but uh, maybe, maybe if George wins one, they'll give him a shot. Hopefully. Um, obviously, looking past January and February, you've got that massive clash between Cole Frampton and Scott Quigg. Yeah. What's been happening in the camp? How is uh, Cold yeah, he's looking great. Um, you know, he's just started sparring. Um, so you know, like not heavy stuff, just sort of getting his time back in. And um, yeah, his weight's come down quite nice. So it's been a good camp so far. But um, yeah, we're very positive that we're going to get the get victory over Scott Quigg, which is going to be an exciting fight. Scott does talk about a lot the Kiko Martinez win, and so he should a great win it was. But do you think he's looking too much into that he's knocked him out and that Joel and Stars Cole fights. didn't? Yeah, the fact is that Gavin Gavin Reed got knocked out in eight rounds by um, by Scott Quigg and then Cole knocked him out in two rounds. You know we don't go blowing you know false smoke up where uh, Cole's are saying that he's because he did that. Whereas Gallagher is, you know, he's saying to you know you're a bigger puncher. You're and whether whether it's false hope or not, or whether it's just trying to get under Cole's skin. The fact is, is that. Um, yeah, he did a good job on on on, uh, on Kiko, but you know, it's, it's just you know, Carl, Carl knocked him out in the first fight, and Kiko was very defensive in the second fight. So he truly believed he could he could beat Scott Quigg. Um, Kiko did, and he walked onto a great shot. Can't do that against Scott Quigg. It's very true. Well, it's exciting beginning of the year for you. Yeah. So I know you're a very busy man. So I'll let you get on. But until then, Shane McGuigan, thank you very much for coming to IFL TV. Cheers.